So we're finally ready to leave. Yep. Oh, you know, a little bit late, which is not not too late, but just a little. Yep, this marks the beginning of our big adventure. We will be on the road for six months, so we'll be like full-time RVers for a while. Yep. Yep. We hopefully will get out of all the snow, though, you know, we may have a bit, but yeah. hopefully not as much as we would if we stayed home. That's true. So. Yep. So we're heading down the road, so why don't you guys follow along, and we will blog our, our travels and... and uh, show you what we see i guess yeah along the way or when we stop yep we certainly will film anything that we find of interest yep auntie tell everybody you're ready to go because i've been ready for an hour haven't you he's been on time <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's been trying to get us to move on yeah he he didn't want to get left behind he was afraid that we were going to leave him so he's been right at our feet waiting Ready to go. Boy, he's been hiding. <laughs> yeah, not quite sure what's going on. All right, so we're off, guys. Welcome back to Zarfus Travels. As we start our winter road trip, it's been November and we're looking to get us south as soon as possible to avoid an early snow. We leave our home outside of Rochester, heading for our first overnight stop at a casino in Anderson, Indiana. These first couple of days will be focused on logging miles. finished our first day of travel. We um, did about 550 miles and we are in Anderson, Indiana and we stayed at Harrah's Hoosier Park Casino and it was a free overnight camp and or not camp, park. Parking lot. Parking lot, yes exactly. And we're ready for our next day. We should get us down into Missouri someplace. A little bit shorter drive today. Not that much. No? No, we're about the, pretty much about the same. Oh, okay. Yeah. We didn't film much of the drive yesterday because really the highlight was, for us, was stopping at... Um, Pan Express and having dinner. Yeah, exactly. So we did that, but uh, that was about it. Same thing today, probably just a lot of highway driving and such until we get down closer to you know, warmer weather and Route 66 where we can stop and check things out a little bit more. Right. A lot more uh, interesting stuff. Right. Exactly. Driving along the highway is just, and through uh, Indiana, it's just a lot of farmland. Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot of farmland. Yeah. Even this casino's in the middle of farmland. Right, yep. right. But, so, enjoy us on our ride today. If we see anything interesting, we will be sure to film. Yep. All right, well, let's go. Come on, guys. After a restful night, we hit the road again the next morning for a long day of driving. Our goal today is to overnight in Springfield, Missouri. As we drive, a roadside attraction sign caught our eye. Casey, Illinois, the home of the world's largest. Of course we had to stop. a short detour off the expressway and we're in this 
village, town? Is it it's a Casey, city? Casey, Illinois. Casey, Illinois. It's a town of 3,000 people. Okay. And it has multiple... Um, world largest. World largest. So we took a tour around the village. And we and saw what? The world largest rocking chair? Rocking chair. The world's largest chime. Wind chimes, yeah. Uh, the world largest um, mailbox. Yeah. World's largest teeter-totter, mouse trap, golf club, what else? Bar oh. Barber pole, and barber shop pole. And number two pencil. Yep. yep. And go golf club. Golf club. And supposedly there's a golf tee. I think it's probably down the road by the golf club. Golf course. Golf course, right. Yeah. And so that one you have to drive to. So we will take a, another little ride down the road and um, see what we can find down there. All right. Okay. Okay. Here are more of the world's largest from Casey, Illinois. Back on the road, we continue to log miles to our overnight destination of a Bass Pro Shop in Springfield. Unfortunately, this Bass Pro Shop did not allow overnight parking, so it was back on the road again to find some place for the night. But we'll save that for the next episode. Join us in our next episode as we continue this cross-country road trip. We ditched the interstate for a ride down historic Route 66. If you liked this episode, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And be sure to hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos every week, and we'd love to have you follow along on our journey.